Desolation. Destruction. Death. That's what I bring wherever I go. Ten stormtroopers. A hundred. A thousand. The numbers don't matter. Faceless. Futureless. Disposable. They're all the same to me. Starkiller Galen Marek was a human male who stood at 1.85 meters. He had brown hair, brown eyes, and fair skin. As a child he stood against Darth Vader, wielding the Sith Lord's own lightsaber against him, out of a desire for vengeance after his father's murder. This desire marked Marek's first step towards the dark side, and Vader recognized this in him. Despite this desire for vengeance, he was not yet completely fallen, still being traumatized by Vader's massacre of the stormtroopers immediately afterwards. All of these traumatic events would cause Marek to repress all of his childhood memories, and forget his own name, though his initial step towards the dark side remained a permanent part of his personality for much of his life. Starkiller was raised by Darth Vader, who was not a very kindly father figure, creating turmoil, anger, and apathy in his mind. He was trained to be loyal, but also a ruthless assassin and an unstoppable force. Though he was brutally and continually punished by his master, Starkiller submitted willingly to the teaching method of the Dark Lord, essentially because he knew nothing else, and this instilled in him the belief that whatever did not kill him would make him stronger, more adept at wielding the dark side. Such was Starkiller's state of mind towards the end of his training, a part of him almost wished for death. In addition, due to his lifelong isolation from all but a few individuals, Starkiller was reclusive, and emotionally remote to all but proxy, and only began to open up to Juno Eclipse after a great deal of time though his feelings of compassion for her would continue to confuse him. Ram Kota said that when Starkiller approached him on Bespin, his love for Juno was the one bright spot among all his dark thoughts that gave him hope that Marek could be redeemed. When hunting down and dispatching his targets, Starkiller was always satisfied that he had helped defend the Galactic Empire and fulfill his master's will. To that end, he was disturbed by the fact that he would have to cut down Imperial troops during his mission to kill General Kota feeling that their only crime had been to cross his path, but he was careful to conceal his feelings from his master. At the same time, for much of his life he had craved a confrontation with a Jedi Knight, and was excited by the prospect. While powerful and confident, Starkiller demonstrated many different sides to his personality. He was wary of his purpose in life and what he was meant to do. He began with a sure focus on the Sith destiny trained into him by Vader. However, his exposure to both the Jedi, the light side of the Force, and also to the reality of Sith life caused his focus to waver. Ultimately, his innate sense of loyalty proved incompatible with Sith philosophy, and he gradually made his choices in life accordingly. After Vader's second betrayal on Corellia, Starkiller displayed not only anger, but also pity for the Dark Lord, remarking that if he were to die there, then Vader would never be free from his master. With this last betrayal, Starkiller rejected the Sith and the Dark Side, and finally admitted his love for Juno Eclipse, and held on to it until his death. When he converted to the Light, the last of his persona as Starkiller ceased to exist, and he reclaimed his birth name, Galen, and fully accepted his destiny in the makings of a Jedi. During his battle with Darth Vader, Galen stated that he did not hate the Dark Lord, but pitied him, declaring that he would kill him to free him. When the Emperor tempted Marek into killing Vader, Marek struggled briefly with his emotions, but in the end decided he would not return to the dark side, and so made his choice to attack the Emperor instead, saving himself from the dark side. In the end, Galen Marek was driven by loyalty to his friends and allies, and willingly surrendered his life for them.